you need to know this for the Algebra 1 EOC. It says, which situation shows causation? So causation just means that one thing is going to cause another to happen or cause an effect. So letter A says, when the number of people in a bus increases, the number of animals in a zoo also increases. These two things are not really related, so we're gonna go ahead and mark this one out. Letter B says, when the number of hours worked each week by an hourly employee decreases, the amount of money earned by the employee also decreases. Now this one makes a lot more sense. If you work less hours and you're getting paid hourly, then you're going to make less money. So this one is correct. Our answer is letter B. This is number 12 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. A system of linear equations is represented by line H and line J. A table representing some points on line H and the graph of line J are shown. Which system of equations is best represented by lines H and J? So I'm gonna find the equation of line J first since they give us the graph, and then I'm gonna see if there's any answer choices that have that. So for line J, I'm gonna find the slope first, and so I just need to pick two points, one that's already there, and then I'm also gonna use the y-intercept. I draw my right triangle, and then I label the sides with five and four, and since the side with five is going down, that's gonna be a negative five. So my slope is negative five over four, and then obviously the y-intercept is positive one. So that means my equation is y equals negative five over four x plus one. And if I look at my answer choices, only letter J has that equation, so that's our correct answer. You need to know how to do this on the Algebra 1 EOC. Which answer choice describes how the graph of f of x equals x squared was transformed to create the graph of n of x equals x squared minus 1? So this is a simple transformation, and the only thing that's changing from the parent function f to the function n is that we're tacking on a minus 1 at the end. And you should know that plus or minus at the end of a function just moves it either up or down. So if we add a number, we move it up. If we subtract a number, we move it down. So in this case, it should be a vertical shift down, which is letter C. Number 14 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. The expression d squared minus d minus six can be written in factored form as d plus two times d plus k, where k represents a number. What is the value of k? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the letter D to X just because we're more accustomed to seeing that. And so I'm gonna have X squared minus X minus six. So once I write that in factored form, they already gave us X plus two, and then we're looking for that second number um, in the parentheses. So I know that I need two numbers that are going to multiply to negative six and add to negative one because there's really an understood one in front of that middle X. So they already give us two, so in order to multiply to negative six, it's gonna have to be negative three, and if we check it, negative three and positive two will also add to negative one, so that's gonna be correct. So letter K is gonna be equal to negative three. This is number 15 from the 2022 Algebra 1 EOC. The graph of a linear function is shown on the grid. Which equation is best represented by this graph? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the y-intercept, and that's just going to be wherever the line crosses the y-axis. So if we look, we're going to see that the line crosses the y-axis at positive 7, so that means my y-intercept is positive 7. Now I'm going to find the slope, and I'm just going to use the two points that they give us. So I'm going to make myself a right triangle, and since I'm going down, I'm going to put a negative 7 next to that side, and then I go to the right, 4. So we know that our slope is rise over run, so our slope is negative 7 over 4. So now we just plug it into slope-intercept form. So our equation should be y equals negative 7 over 4x plus 7, and that's going to be letter B.